So let's talk about the workplace of a chemist and a chemical engineer. So I already told you a chemical engineer is more likely to work in the, let's say, a chemical plant and the chemist is more likely to work at the lab. So we can see labs. Even though engineering is more about factories and huge plants, we also have our labs. What we do is we do small unit operations and see how they work and if they work we go a little bit larger and if they work we go all scale. So for instance, I don't know, maybe you are working with a piping system or you're working with a distillation column or you're working, I don't know, whatever application you may have, even a reactor, you can do it small scale at the engineering lab and then you go full scale. The chemistry lab, well, probably you've seen it. You have this right here, you got electricity output, you got these safety places, you got a lot of equipment and the reagents. So raw materials, we typically work with huge amounts. We have these huge containers. If you're working with solids, we got these sacks right here. And these for maybe even, uh, I would say not raw material, maybe a byproduct and so on. In the chemistry lab, we use glassware, ammonium, and you typically label it as well as here. You always need to label. Labeling is an industrial standard. Now, equipment, chemical uh, chemists typically work with this glassware equipment, which is very expensive if you compare it with the, let's say, the size because this is huge and is expensive as well, but this, if you compare the size of this versus the size of that, you will see that this is not that expensive as this one right here. So you can start watching how glassware versus steel goes here. Also the chemistry lab, well, you have plenty of glassware as I told you, equipment. And the engineering lab is a little bit less fancy. Actually, we got plenty of let's say useful stuff rather than fancy material, no glassware, we got pipings and these buckets, what else, we got, I don't know, this guy right here with this funnel, metallic funnel, this guy is helping him, he's probably uh, filling this tank, maybe this is a reactor or a storage tank, who knows, but you can start to see how it gets. Now safety, well, you're probably going to see on the glassware, the lab coat, and maybe even a mask right here, and the gloves. Now, in the chemical engineering lab, you will definitely have this helmet because there are plenty of pipelines and you get to move along. So, imagine you need to check out the manometer, which can only be read from here. You will need to go, I don't know, maybe here, and well, you are going to have plenty of, let's say, hazards placed in the pipeline. So the good thing about having a helmet, it doesn't hurt. Also these right here, we might even use lab coats, more industrial gloves and so on. So also masks, you maybe use those masks, probably you've seen before, a mask like this. This is the eyes and the nose and you have this very fancy uh, mask. So that's for the safety. We saw equipment and raw materials, general stuff. Well, that's what I want to show you. And actually many times you're going to have plenty of computers in such labs right here because you want to analyze all the data that's going on right here or even in the lab. So this is everything. In the next one, we will see the career paths that you may take as a chemist or chemical engineer.